shot of the new Praetorian. <laughs> the ogre would like to sincerely thank the Cabbage Patch Bistard for stopping by. So just like I promised you, I had to redo this because you did call me a liar. Here is The Laughing Ogre presents the best of The Bastard! No, no, I meant, I meant Cabbage Patch. Good night. Um, yeah, well, the thing is, you just cannot trust the French. Look, at every occasion, they have fucked us sideways. There would be sort of race relations. Shouldn't there be a taco, you know, like um, Taco Bell or something? It doesn't matter, does it? The I mean, why not? Why not make it? Why not just make it into a taco stand? Well, yeah, it's one of the things I've got to say, because I, I had friends who were serving with American troops in Afghanistan, and they couldn't believe just how precocious they were. They were moaning about what they couldn't get, and the British troops are sitting there basically eating fucking toothpaste. <laughs> it's like they oh, I've never complained yeah. about that. We had a... Uh... You had bloody halibut and feeding you... Well, you're actually in the green zone in Iraq, and there was a bloody Domino's pizza and a KFC. <laughs> It's mind blowing, isn't it? It's like McDonald's. It is just it, it's just innocuous. It really is. It, it just it, it just in uh, it's insipid. It gets into everything. Yeah, yeah. I heard about it. This guy was absolutely dumbfounded when he got there. Uh, Carl's. <laughs> like, thing, not a Carl. Oh, yeah, Carl's oh, Jr. Fucking... Absolutely. And the thing is, you see, my great grandfather fought in World War One, aside, you know, alongside American troops. My grandfather worked with uh, American troops. He was he worked on Lancaster bombers, and then later on, he was working with the um, uh, the American Air Force. Uh, you know, maintaining the aircraft. He was uh, in Remy, the uh, Royal Engineers. Um, so you know, my my family has experience, plus friends who've also served alongside the American forces, um, and I know the mutual respect which is there. Because when push comes to shove, we do end up having each other's backs. You know, I think the old, you know, the frivolous thing that you did with the tea, that's fine. That's over. It's forgotten. Nobody needs to hold that over anybody. Um, you know, we move forward. Uh, every major problem we've had, remember, okay, and this is one thing I, I think often gets forgotten. Britain has never tried to invade Europe, ever. We've had the occasional scuffle with France, but that's only because they, you know, instigated it or, you know, because of the royals, you know, declaring their little dukedoms or any nonsense like that. But it, it, we never invaded Europe, ever. We never have. We, we decided, we recognized that these people were like a kindergarten. All they do is fight amongst themselves. And you can see it happening now with the European Union. It is slowly imploding upon its own ego. I got mugged in Galveston, and I actually ma nearly managed to convince the guy to give me his gun. Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's funny as hell. The guy came up, and he had this really nice chrome-plated 911. It was it was actually quite impressive. I just I oh, I driven a friend of mine to go to a pharm uh, pharmacy. Um, I was sitting in the passenger seat. She drove there. Uh, it was a convertible. Volkswagen. I'm just sitting there. This guy comes up. Give me your money, asshole. <laughs> you know, like totally pepped up or whatever. I don't know what the hell he was on. Um, and I, you know, obviously Englishman, not exactly, you know, well experienced in how to respond. I just said, but I've only got five dollars. Is that enough? And the guy just, he just got confused. And uh, I said, that's a nice gun. That's got to be worth some, some dollars. <laughs> and I said, he ended up basically, I just gave him the five dollars. Like, I'm gonna risk my life for the sake of fucking five dollars. But I said to him, Can I have a look? And he nearly handed it to me. Pizza Hut, oh my god. <laughs> well, I should have quit you, baby. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. Mama, should listen. 
Second bye. I should.